Hey guys, this is Rick at Tasty Guitar. A couple weeks ago I did a lesson called the Dorian Hourglass Pattern, and to refresh your memory, it was basically a five note grouping derived from the Dorian mode that kind of looked like this hourglass shape here. And since then, a lot of people have asked, is that shape movable to other strings? And the answer is yes, it is. If I move this same shape, everything down one string, down here, it is no longer part of Dorian. It's actually coming now out of Mixolydian, G Mixolydian. Okay, in this position, I would have the flat seven, root, major third, fifth, and sixth of G Mixolydian. Now the great thing about this little five note grouping is it's right in the middle of the pentatonic box you've already been playing. So G pentatonic here. Our little five note shape, our hourglass is right here, right inside of it. Okay, so kind of think about this as Mixolydian light. Although we're not playing the full scale, we're leaving a couple notes out, we do have most of the tones that we need to give you the flavor of it. Flat seven, root, that major third, fifth, and the sixth. We can also use these chromatic passing tones. So I can go from flat seven to the root, and also the fifth to the sixth, and back. Also, we can bend some of the notes. We can bend this major third to the fourth, We can also bend the 6th to the flat 7th. Now since this little 5 note shape lives right inside the pentatonic box, it's really easy to start kind of mixing these two sounds together. Mixolydian and then regular pentatonic licks. Mixolydian, pentatonic, mixolydian, Now because this little five note grouping is coming out of the Mixolydian mode, we're going to use it with dominant chords. These are your sevenths, ninths, your thirteenths. I was playing over a G7 chord. Here's my pattern. I'm thinking of my root right here on the sixth string. Now if we were playing a 12 bar blues in G, my four chord would be C, C dominant. I could play that pattern right here. The five chord would be D, right there. And this is all fine, you should know where these patterns are, but it's a little bit more convenient to find these same notes down in this third fret position because that's where our blues box is. Okay, so if we take the same notes that we had on that C, play them down here, we now have this kind of U shape. It's no longer an hourglass. And for the five chord, there's our root. There it is, flat seven root, third, fifth, and sixth of the D. C, back to our hourglass over the G. Okay, I'm now gonna just play over G12 bar blues trying to use these shapes. There's my G hourglass. My C U shape. D. Back to G. Again. G hourglass. Up to D.
Let's mix in a little bit of pentatonic with this now. It's a CU shape. Back to blues. Alright guys, thank you so much for coming by today and checking out this Mixolydian Hourglass shape. This is a great way to kind of get your feet wet, get started on using this mode without having to learn a bunch of different scale shapes and patterns yet. As always, if you did enjoy the lesson, please like, share, and subscribe and come by tastyguitar.com where I have a lot of other free lessons for you and I do offer private instruction via Skype. This has been Rick. Thank you.